So in this section, we'll uh, give you a preview of the onboarding process, which outlines the steps to get connected. Um, when your account is verified, your service manager is going to contact you within uh, two weeks after we have that fully executed agreement. So the technical assessment is going to confirm the best connection method for your site. Um, and that's going to depend on your vendor, your use case, your organization type, and all of the other factors that your service manager is going to go into with you. So once that's confirmed, uh, you'll get a participation packet that's going to include some other information that you'll need to fill, uh, fill out. And it'll give you what you need to know about that particular connection type. And it's going to include that provider directory spreadsheet. Um, you'll need to complete that documentation to, to move forward. We do have um, some educational resources that we're developing around the provider directory because there's, you know, it's, it, this is basically how you're going to be seen in the outside world. This is the, the highway phone book, right? Um, so understandably, there's some, some things that you want to consider. But at that point, you know, you can receive those resources to help you uh, fill that out properly. So after those documents are received, uh, you're going to get your donate, domain confirmed and your certificates will be issued. And that's going to move your organization into testing. So depending on your use case, depending on your use case, getting connected uh, to the Mass Highway is going to look a little bit different. Uh, but the overview really is generally the same. So we first need to confirm your connectivity in a test environment. And once that's completed, uh, we move that connection into production or you like go live with your connection. So and really, once that's confirmed, you're ready to implement your use case and start integrating the highway into practice. So I will say that it is important, as hard as it can be, it's important to have a dedicated resource or project manager to lead the Mass Highway onboarding, connection, and integration efforts at your end. Uh, it's just to minimize the, the time and maximize the benefits. The timeline for this setup and test and moving into production will really depend on the availability at your end and absolutely positively as well as ours as well. Um, and on that note, it's actually I'm really excited to announce that we have a couple of new service team managers that are starting within the next few weeks so we can better serve our growing network. Oh, so I think it's time. Can we do the last poll? We have one more poll. We heard that it actually interrupts the screen, so what we'll do is we'll do it during the question. Okay, so we're not going to do the poll because it <laughs> interrupts the screen, and we'll we'll do it later. We're actually uh, we're good on time, so we'll have a lot of good time for some uh, for some Q and A. Um, so final thoughts and and key takeaways. And again, I, I know this is a, a lot of a lot of information on a lot of different topics, um, but. You, know, you want to review the participation agreement now. This review can it can take time, whether or not you're reviewing it uh, with an attorney. Definitely want to talk with your vendor and find out what the status is of, of their connection to the highway, your HIP, and see if your regional HIE network is looking to get enrolled with us. Um, and like to what Sean was saying before, you certainly want to engage more than just your IT staff. You want to speak with clinicians, your administrators, definitely your front end staff and your registration staff uh, to just discuss the value of the Mass Highway and really, really to figure out what the best uh, initial use case will be for your organization. And that can help best scope the effort um, and can allow you to take a, a strategic approach to the Mass Highway integration. Again, try to dedicate a resource to the project at your organization to help ensure a, uh, a smooth, quick process. And the big one, which you know we, we haven't gone into in this uh, presentation at all, is it, you have to start thinking about consent early. It is outlined in uh, the agreement and the policies and procedures. Uh, we recently have done a great work with the community to develop resources for all to use to start to address this. Um, we're actually aiming uh, within the next couple of months to have a similar educational session like this that is uh, around consent specifically. So again, this it's, it's going to be hard. Uh, and like your EHR implementation, you should probably uh, expect that there will be a dip in productivity, a big initial time and in financial investment before your organization gets used to the tool and starts seeing some benefits. But you know, I think all of the things in life that are hard are worth it. And 
you can ask my mom. Hopefully, she'll agree. Um, it's a it's a hard time to be a clinician or a healthcare administrator. Certainly, we're amidst some major but transformational changes. So it's also an exciting time. I, I will say honestly, you're each a pioneer in this effort, and the generations after you, both patients like myself and providers, thank you for your ongoing dedication to this effort of changing the healthcare system. So. Ah, uh, yeah, contact information. So here is, uh, again, our website and our general email address, and that is my email and my uh, phone as well. Please contact me anytime uh, with specific questions, and there will probably be many that I won't be able to answer off the top of my head, but I will serve you guys as being your uh, connection to the highway to get those questions answered. Um, and we have uh, Mihai's contact details as well here. There's a lot of great resources on their website. And uh, we certainly at the highway thank them for their continued effort, and I'm super thankful to have them on board to help me you know, put these educational sessions on for you guys, and uh, we look forward to doing that more in the future.